Hello guys, welcome back to the channel. My name is Luba. My name is Stryker. Our channel is about dating in Ukraine and Belarus. It's about uh, putting a practical plan in place. If that is interesting to you or something you want to do, then definitely subscribe to the channel. Now, this video today, this is something that we talk about quite often with our clients. Uh, and it's something that we refer to as the place of power. And it directly relates to uh, the second date. It's a very useful topic. I think that a lot of guys, they don't really um, know that they can do it in Ukraine, that they can feel this way in Ukraine. Mm. Because when I traveled in US and I met my clients there, I see how different they are, how unconfident sometimes they are, because it's not because they're unconfident here in Ukraine as, as, as a person, as a man, it's just because they don't know, they have lack of information. And mm. back home, they're assertive, they know where to do, what to go, they drive the car, they're so powerful, they have their friends, and so it's much more comfortable. So we decided with Striker that with anything we can, we want to help you guys to feel this way in Ukraine during you have a date. And more than that, we're talking about, more specifically, we talk about second date that you have with the lady, right? Yeah, yeah. So the lady doesn't understand certain things, right? So, and one thing that you have to portray at all times is uh, competence and self-reliance that you can uh, get shit sorted no matter where you go. It is difficult in Ukraine. I know when I came here, things were difficult. You know, like you can't read the signs, you didn't speak the language um, and you can't communicate. And all of these things, she sees all of those things, right? And so when we talk about um, your place of power, we talk about it on the second date. So the first date is, it's, everything is about quali uh, qualifying, right? So the first date, we talk about how you're qualifying her, if you want to go on a second date or not. Uh, we've got and other... it's an introduction. It's yeah, just... yeah, it's an introduction, yeah. yeah. So you're getting to know her a little bit. Do you want to go on a second date? Does she want to go on a second date with you? It's not about you like explaining how awesome you are that's going to convince her to do that, okay? She'll see if she likes you or not, and she'll be willing to go on that second date. Now, that second date is where you need to, I guess, qualify yourself. And as I've just explained before, it can be difficult sometimes, like going to a restaurant, ordering the food, you know, the last thing you want to be doing is saying to her, look, can you just order me some of this because I can't read the menu. For her, it shows that you are not self-reliant, that you don't have competency. Even though in your own country, you may be a business owner, you've done well, you can do whatever the hell you want, she doesn't understand some of these things, right? She doesn't see in her mind, oh, well, and here is a trust bit. what you say. They don't understand. They them. don't get it. They don't get it, you know? So um, we are trying to change those things. We are writing a little course for the ladies to uh, try and get them to understand some of these things. Um, but so the second date, right? Your place of power. So what it comes down to is uh, you choose an activity which you are confident in, that you have competency in. And it can be anything, right? That you are, that you know about. That when you go there, she's going to see that you're automatically going to take a leadership role, that you're confident, you're competent, you naturally will feel confidence anyway. So, and it all comes down to what it is that you're going to choose. Yeah? Yes. Like what? What can they choose? Uh, anything where you feel good. Yeah. Uh, you know, there is many things that you can do in Ukraine that you would not even think of. Uh, and you think that, oh, Ukraine probably is undeveloped country, so we don't have, like, they don't have what I like. Um, trust me, anything, any kind of cuisine, any kind of activity, a anything, yeah. uh, any kind of, like, really, literally, almost anything. And, of course, it depends on which city you are, because in smaller cities, maybe something is, um, but, um, for example, you are a good horse rider, right? So you are very good. You can impress her with these skills and you feel very comfortable with horses. Or uh, one of our guys, he play golf. Yes, he play professional golf, he play on the big fields, but we have a mini golf. That is also like, you know, where he feels comfortable, where he take a place of power. Yeah. Uh, or some of the guy, he was a chef. So, uh, you know, in apartment, it was, it was not that comfortable for him to cook. So we find a place for him to, uh, like a professional kitchen where he actually can use all the tools and cook something for her. Mm. And anything, anything that you, uh, that make you feel yeah. strong and powerful and confident, you need to do on a second day and it needs it has to be your offer uh, of course when you do it individually when you do it by yourself you come and like and meet some girl from some website it is difficult because um, in this question you do need support uh, 
like it will be arranged for you like it was your idea that it is your arranged that you book that everything on you but you need of course a help of somebody and yeah. in in this matter like heart orchid is is that little help like hidden help that mm. nobody actually know but um we can help you to like realize anything you want and uh, the most important the most important is that to choose place that you feel comfortable and second important thing is to maybe uh, for the third date or maybe even for the second to understand what the lady said between the lines on the first date what she likes what mm. what makes you happy uh, and um, these little details are very very important for for the lady because if you remember that in the future you can use it and this will be yeah. for her like wow like just quick example like one of the guys we were sending like a christmas uh, gift and uh she said that um, like he remembered that she's like big fan of like pine pine nuts like this pineapple nuts like tiny ones so it was like a box that i created for her to surprise she was absolutely shocked that he remembered that then on a date uh during she was eating the salad uh, she mentioned this uh, pineapple nut. So this mm. is something very cute for Ukrainian ladies, and uh, this can really this give you points like bing, 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 bing. You know, very, yeah. very fast. Yeah. One one thing that I can't stress enough is that is that competency. You know, a lot of the times um, uh, you'll hear these words like you need to be a strong, confident man. Well, what do those things mean? You know, it's like strong, like what you can bench like two fifty. Or I'm confident, confident with what you might be confident in your job, but not confident with women. You might be confident with women, but you don't have any other skills at all. So we so, so we, we 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 use the word competent and self reliant because that's what she's looking for. She's looking for a man that can get shit sorted. And in your own country, you can do that. Over in Ukraine, it is difficult. It, it is intimidating. You can make mistakes very easily and end up, you know, looking a bit stupid. You know, and if you've just met a woman for the first time, it's it's a lot harder to laugh it off than say I would if I was with Luba or if I was with someone that I knew. So she's going to be looking at all of those things, and that's what she that's what she's after in a man as a com, uh, a competent man. The place of power is where you can portray that, you know. And and um, we always say when it comes to like the second date, like these restaurant dates, yeah, they're fine, okay, but you know you're not really going to get uh, much out of it from her as well because also like let's just say take for the example. Uh, you went horseback riding, right? You can see how she is if she's like, oh, I don't want to do this, this is boring. But horseback riding is your life. You've got a horse, whatever. And she's not interested in that. You can see how that is. Or is she willing to let you help her? You know, is she willing to be um, uh, to be part of it and to try and understand something that you're passionate about? These things say so much about a woman, you know, and how she's going to integrate into your life. Um, so it's uh, you're not only just using that second date, the place of power, to uh, show that you're competent and you know to to uh, have that attraction grow through competency and through that self-reliance but you're also seeing like what she's like as well yes uh, Quali it, it qualification and, yeah. and it helped like a, you know i call it like a team building team teamwork when you actually see her attitude uh, if you remember like i was talking about uh, escape rooms that are a good idea as well escape rooms are awesome uh, maybe even for the third date when you already know her you feel more comfortable with her and maybe you want to give her a little bit more power because it obviously mm. will be mostly in russian and so for you it will be a little bit of a struggle but you will be able to see how she actually uh what is her attitude is she helpful or she like just do herself or she's stubborn or mm. she's whatever but the second time a uh, second date need to, uh, to be somewhere where you will see her uh in action i will use again this example with the golf uh it's not that it is the only one it's just the recent one and i just see how it is like exp explode right how yeah. it's like really grow so when they like when they actually was doing something together because both of these people uh the guy was not sure he said Luba, like the first date was at the restaurant he said I'm not sure maybe she's like too boring maybe she's like just not very active i'm very active and it was funny that she told me the same she asked me she said like i just don't know like you know he's so calm sitting and he was like wearing the suit at the restaurant and i know like his personality definitely that he is not a boring guy and i see her personality and i definitely understand that she's a lot of fun and so uh like they went to this golf and it was immediate connection without that I think that they would have hesitation without with mm. that uh, on there when he felt comfortable with when he know how to put this like hold this stick and like yeah. show her all that stuff it was much much more easier and this was his place of power uh, and from that she felt that she she can lead this man she has mm. she has like you know we say that he has to have confidence no she has this confidence in him now. yeah yeah that's it that, that's it a hundred percent and we and we've also said too like the second date should try and should build some emotion as well see the other person you know sitting at a restaurant 
You can get it sometimes, right? But it's uh, you have to have a very good uh, click. You both have to be. Uh, sometimes people can have a bit of, you know, be anxious, you know, be a bit nervous. They don't want to look stupid. If I laugh too much, they're going to think I'm this and blah blah blah. But when you go and do something like that, that you know, you're supposed to laugh or you're supposed to be smiling. You're supposed to be, you know, getting dirty or something like that. Then it's fine to do those things because the actual the premise for what you're actually doing on the date is already set by the date itself. You just have to get into it and hopefully that she enjoys it as well. So creating that emotion um, uh, is I reckon it's key, you know. And I've been in this position. I've even made videos about my experiences on dates and how this made us um, close together, you know. Um, so yeah, I mean, have a think about that place of power. Try not to get um, too stuck on. Uh, restaurant dates and traditional stuff you know be a bit spont you know spontaneous be a bit unexpected and the woman they love it um, and one thing is too is if you can I'll just add here just to, just as a, a final point but if you can um, show that competency uh, and that self-reliant early on in, in the interaction so on the first date it's, it's difficult it's just a meeting on the second date you can show it and you show it strong and you come in with a strong frame if the second date it's not as strong she understands that you are competent because she's already seen it you've already demonstrated it to her so the second date if you go and do something and you do ask her to read this menu you've already demonstrated that you can get shit sorted as opposed to going around the other way and you're kind of on the back foot trying to prove to her that you're not a bumbling twit so the whole work for you is before you come to Korean, just think, what is your powerful side? Maybe you're a good singer and you can impress her in, yeah, uh, in karaoke. One. Yeah, it's like because the ladies adore when the guy is a little bit artistic. Uh, maybe you play uh, good uh, bowling uh, or even if you don't, you know, sometimes it's funny. Guys feel uncomfortable when the ladies uh, won uh, in bowling. Sometimes it happened. <laughs> but uh, but still, you know, it's, it's interaction. It's good. Uh, something that make you feel happy. Sometimes that uh, something that make you feel um, you know dance like nobody watch something like that yeah. so think of that before you come and uh, when you feel comfortable uh, on the first date with the lady that you would like her to because it's also not everybody you will want to put in this position when like to put in your like comfortable zone like and this is actually also a very good test when you're on the first date you think would you like to take this lady to your place like to the place where you feel good or no and if the answer is yes just do it yeah we hope you enjoy this video and um, we'll see you guys next time. We enjoyed it. <laughs>